dawned on me quite early on that if you look around the world, there are rich people that are very happy and poor people that are very happy. There are rich people who are really stressed and, and unhappy and committing suicide and then there are poor people that are stressed and unhappy. There are people in great relationships who don't seem happy and so there's no sort of rhyme or reason as to what brings about happiness. And like every other kid, I had dreams of having a great career in various aspects. I wanted to be a leader or I wanted to be an astronaut or a magician. But at the same time, what fascinated me the most is probably these stories of the, like, these yogis that lived in caves and, and were able to achieve happiness just by sitting there. And the Eastern traditions and these sort of weird stories that came out. So I was fascinated at a really young age in that. Um, I was also fascinated by the idea of magic. I always wanted to be a magician. Uh, but then I realised that uh, magic wasn't real. I still wanted to be a magician. But I found the real magic is to be able to uh, change your mind, to look at things a new way. And um, out of that fascination, I guess um, I always had part of my life uh, interested in finding out more information about the lesser known sides of life, if you like. And then even though I became an engineer, I still spent a lot of time traveling and finding out about different traditions and things like meditation, yoga, and these more esoteric side of life. 